Are you thinking about venturing into the wild, wild <laughs> west of homeschooling? Well, hold on to your hats because today we're going to explore my top 10 reasons not to homeschool. Yep, that's right. As much as I love homeschooling, I am the first to admit it is not for everyone. It's not for the faint of heart. Homeschooling is like a roller coaster. It will test your perseverance, dedication, courage in ways you never imagined. Homeschooling will have you stepping out of your cozy comfort zone faster than you can say, did Will Smith just slap that man? It's, it's a world of self-reflection and empathy towards both yourself and your child. Homeschooling isn't just about teaching math and history. Uh, no, it's about growing as a parent. So buckle up and let's take a ride through my list of the top 10 reasons not to homeschool. And please stick around till the end for some special book recommendations that'll help guide you through your homeschooling journey. Let's dive in, shall we? Reason number one, don't homeschool if you're in desperate need of time. Picture this, homeschooling is like herding cats. Yep, every day is an adventure and you might be lucky if you manage to squeeze in a daily shower. But hey, who needs personal hygiene when everybody's learning, right? I mean, you remember Ashton Kusher and Mila Kunis, his wife, when they said they didn't need that many baths? Well, just go get yourself a bidet, squirt, squirt, and you're good and go. <laughs> Moving on. Reason number two. If your kids are absolutely against homeschooling, think twice. Now, when they're little, it's a bit easier to bring them into the homeschool world. My kids, they don't even know what real school is. But if your kids are used to traditional school and they're dead set against homeschooling, you'll have some battles that you'll need to navigate. And let's face it, we need to pick our battles carefully and ain't nobody got time for an unnecessary showdown. Reason number three, if you don't believe in homeschooling, don't force it. Just like home births, which I've had three of them, either, either you're that person or you're not. Your heart needs to be in it to make it work. If homeschooling doesn't resonate with you and your family, it's okay. Find what suits you best because there's no one size fits all in your educational journey. Reason number four, Lazy teachers need not apply. Listen, I am far from a type A super organized personality, but I do put some thought into what I do with the kids. Homeschooling requires planning, preparation, and a lot of reevaluating. Even if you use a curriculum, you still need to put some effort into it. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is the educated mind. You can't just fly by the seat of your pants. Even unhome, or what do you call them? Unschoolers, unhomeschoolers, well, unschoolers, I think, they consider somewhat about how to engage their kids' curiosity and learning process. Reason number five, if you don't enjoy spending time with your kids, well, brace yourself. Homeschooling means quality time with your little darlings 24 seven. So if you're one of those parents who secretly cheers when school holidays are over, or if you were one of those parents during COVID times going crazy with that online learning because the kids were at home, you might want to think whether homeschooling is the right gig for you. Again, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's very important to maintain a healthy relationship with your child. Reason number six, all kids learn differently, my friends. If you think you can teach all your kids the same way and survive, you must have some super human powers that I don't know about. In my house, take math, for example, which my eight and 10 year old are at the same level, but I teach them separately. Why? Well, my son is like chasing a chicken. So I allow him to move around as we do lessons. My daughter, on the other hand, completely independent, takes the teacher's manual and directs her own learning. So even though both of the kids are on the same level, they learn differently. You're gonna to have to embrace 
the diversity of learning styles and cater to each child's unique needs. All right, we're halfway through. Let me ask you, if you're considering homeschooling, what is holding you back? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on my future videos. Reason number seven, if you are a neat freak, beware. Martha Stewart, Marie Kondo, bye girl, bye. Homeschooling and a spotless house don't go hand in hand at all. Legos, papers, and other educational decorations will become part of your home's delightful chaos. But I must add, don't let those pretty organized homeschool rooms that you see on YouTube fool you because I'm sure their space looks a hot mess when they're not filming. At least that's what I like to make myself believe. Reason number eight, if you think you know already everything, think again. Homeschooling is a fantastic journey of exploration and discovery for both you and your kids. Embrace your curiosity because your enthusiasm will ignite theirs. We recently started a new history program and the kids were whining and groaning about it. As I started to read the book and showed my interest, because I truly was wild about the new information, I saw their cynicism fading away slowly. So you need to be willing to learn new things. Reason number nine, if you don't like going out of the house, homeschooling is probably not for you. You can't be a hermit. You know, socialization is the spice of the homeschooling life and essential for a child's social, emotional development. You'll have to get out and about, engage in community activities, sports, arts, or meetups with other homeschoolers because that is gonna help your child. Reason number 10. Staying ignorant of your state laws. That is not gonna be bliss when it comes to homeschooling. You're gonna to have to get familiar with the homeschooling laws in your state. Each state has its own requirements and regulations and being informed will save you from potential headaches down the road. If you're a parent considering homeschooling, I have three suggestions for you, three book suggestions. First, the book is called The Brave Learner by Julie Bogart. In this book, Julie offers a very inspiring guide to homeschooling that focuses on fostering a love for learning in your children. It's not just about academics, it's about nurturing curiosity, creativity, and connection with your homeschooling journey. The second book is called Dumbing Us Down. This is by John Taylor Gato. I hope I say that correctly. He's a former New York State teacher who shares his thoughts on the shortcomings of the modern education system. And he contends that compulsory schooling as it exists today is more about maintaining control and conformity than fostering true learning. The third book is called The Call of the Wild and Free by Ansley Armit. Again, the last name I'm probably completely ruining, but Armit advocates for a homeschooling style that allows children to explore their interests and passions, promoting a love for learning that goes beyond mere memorization. The book celebrates the joys of learning outside the traditional classroom and encourages parents to trust their instincts and then embrace a more relaxed, adventurous, and nature approached base to education. So there you have it. You have my top 10 reasons not to homeschool. But remember, what's not right for one person might be the perfect fit for somebody else. Homeschooling can be amazing and a rewarding experience, but it's not for everyone. You gotta take the time to reflect on your family's needs and goals. Whether you choose to homeschool or not, the most important thing is to be present for your kids and support their educational journey. Keep being an awesome parent and continue seeking what's best for your family. Share your thoughts on homeschooling in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining, subscribe to the channel for more engaging discussions. Until next time, keep being awesome, keep learning, 
and keep loving your family fiercely.